Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus today. This is episode 4 of 5 on our series about God and religion, but mainly God. I hope you enjoyed this series so far. If you haven't seen it, make sure you subscribe and go back and watch all of those episodes. But by now, we've talked a lot about where God came from, where scientists believe in God, and where they decide they don't believe in God, and even where the concept of God came from. But now we're going to ask a question, do we benefit from having God around? Is God helpful? There are studies that show that people benefit from having belief, that church is actually a good thing, it's good for you. We might benefit from having a belief system in general. People who reported going to church at least three times a month had blood pressure that was on average one to two points lower than those who didn't go to church. Thinking about God calms people down if they are religious. And a study published in the Journal for the Association of Psychological Science showed that brain activity decreases in areas related to regulating arousal and alerting us when things are wrong while we were thinking about God. Religious parents are found to have better behaved and more social children. A study found that churchgoers live 2.1 to 3.7 years longer than non-churchgoers, and another study even touted an extra seven years of life expectancy for the faithful. One study showed that Christians seem to be happier on social media versus atheists on social media. But believing in God clearly has some positive effects. So if you believe in multiple gods, does that mean you get more benefit? You multiplying your benefits because there are more gods around? That's not really been studied in the same way, but a cool 2007 LA Times article by Mary Lefkowitz made a really, a really great observation. In a monotheistic religion, God is always good, provides judgment, and is just. Believers take the blame for things that go wrong. But polytheistic religions, different gods, do battle amongst themselves. Some create evil in the world, some are good. Believers of polytheistic religions might be less stressed when bad things happen because they can shift the justification off of themselves. Oh, that's just this evil god doing this thing, you know? There are polytheists of, like, the Norse religion who have the god Loki, the god of mischief, and it would make sense to be like, oh, this bad thing happened. You know what? That must be Loki. He's being crazy. And then a good thing happened, oh, you know, that must be this God that does good stuff. You know, it's, it's a way to spread the blame around. <laughs> but again, not scientific study, just a cool observation. I think the real question here that we're trying to get to in this whole series is, is almost in one packet right here. Are atheists happier than theists or vice versa? A study showed uh, that was in the UK most significantly, that spiritual people were nearly three times more likely to experience an episode of depression than secular people. Let me say that again just to make sure. Spiritual people were nearly three times more likely to experience an episode of depression than secular people. But again, religion can certainly help people be happier, but other people can also help you be happier. Other things help you do the same thing. A peaceful, cooperative society, even in the absence of religion, has the same effect as a religious society. Most of the time when we study religion, what we're actually studying is social structure. We're studying this community of people who have something to share. When I was young, I went to church from time to time. I was exposed to religion, but I wasn't told that I must be part of that. My parents weren't particularly religious, so I didn't have to be part of a religion if I didn't want to, but I still went to church, and I was also part of the Boy Scouts. I'm an Eagle Scout, and that requires a religious component. You cannot become an Eagle Scout without a sign-off from a religious person or a religious group. I have nothing but praise to heap on scouting and what it taught me over the years, including the tolerance for different religions, because you're exposed to so many different kinds of people, especially at bigger and bigger and bigger levels. But as a person who was less religious than some of the faithful around me, I still saw benefits from being in these communities. Because what you're really talking about is social groups. You're talking about this social group that's part of this social group that's part of this social group. And we share values, and we can all talk about it, we can all feel good about it. Some people get really amazing value and pride from their faith, and some people draw pride and value from elsewhere. Both are significant, both are important, and you know what? Both are personal. I know this is a super crazy subject, but 
please tell us what you think down in the comments and let me know how you feel about this. Make sure you subscribe for more Test Tube Plus as well so that we can keep talking about it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and check out earlier episodes from this week about God and religion. It's a big one. I hope you like it. We'll see you tomorrow. Wow.